We're getting ready to do a toned and 10 exercise workout with the Hooked on Pilates Mini Max. Our special focus with this workout is going to be on strengthening your pelvic floor muscles. And during this workout, we're going to be using a lifting Kegel exercise, which is important to improve the resting tone of your pelvic floor muscles, which will help you with any type of urinary incontinence issues or pelvic floor prolapse. So specifically for this workout, we are going to need to use the resistance straps. So I'm going to adjust mine so that the marking that is closest to the handle is inside the buckle. So it's adjusted like this. However, if you have any problems in your shoulders, um, you might want to make the resistance a little bit lighter. And so perhaps you want to adjust it so the buckle is at a midpoint between the first marking and the button. So I'm going to adjust it back to the first marking because that's going to be my chosen resistance. And then go ahead and do the other side and then lay those handles down next to you. That's wonderful. All right, so our first exercise is going to be a pelvic floor awareness exercise. So you're going to have a seat on your mini max there and then just have your legs comfortably apart. And then from this vertical sitting position, you're going to rock forward and find that bone, which is your pubic bone. That's the front of your pelvic floor. And then you're going to rock back and find that tailbone and that's the back portion of your pelvic floor and then rock forward again knowing that's the front of your pelvic floor rock back and know that's the back portion come back up to the vertical position and rock off to the left side find your sits bone some people call it your ischial tuberosities those would be physical therapists and then rock over to the right and find the other sits bone very good so the left is the margin of your pelvic floor to the left and when you rock to the right sits bone it's the right margin so now let's connect those dots so if you're on your right sits bone then connect to the back portion of your pelvic floor then come on to the left its bone and then find your pubic bone so as you connect those dots the shape that you're drawing is a diamond so think about your pelvic floor as a diamond upon which you're sitting now imagine it as a white handkerchief so our lifting kegel is when you're going to think about taking your thumb and your index finger and grasping that handkerchief right in the center and drawing upwards like a magician pulling handkerchief out of a top hat now hold that contraction and now fully release very good let's try that again so you're going to find the center of your diamond imagine it as a white handkerchief and then try to peek the center of that white handkerchief up inside of you up towards your heart keep that contraction notice how there is some activity in your stomach so there's a hard wire connection between your pelvic floor and your stomach nice and now let it fully release so that's a lifting kegel exercise and we're going to use it throughout this work out um, not every exercise I'll cue it on every third because we want our pelvic floor muscles to be strong but not overtrained. All right and so our first our second exercise after our pelvic floor awareness is actually to go into the inverted position which is really good in order to offload the pelvic floor so it's going to be gravity assisted exercises and then it also helps with pulling the organs um, in a more appropriate position if you have prolapse. So if you're athletic and you don't have a problem in your back, you can bring your bottom towards the rounded end of the mini max, holding on to the sides, you can roll back and come into your inverted position. Now, if that's difficult for you to do, you could go ahead and start on your back and then open up your legs and have them out away from the mini max and then lift your bottom into a bridge 
and then draw the mini max in towards you and then you can adjust yourself here and then you're also in the inverted position maybe not so high so here we are we're going to go ahead and lengthen both legs up towards the ceiling and then from this position we're going to inhale to prepare so we're inhaling through the nose exhale as you engage through your course so you want to feel like you brace your abdominals as you lower the leg inhale as you return we're going to alternate exhale to the other side inhale as you return exhale draw that leg down make sure that your back does not arch as the leg lowers good and then from here exhale lower that leg and now let's try to do that lifting kegel so draw that pelvic floor up and in towards your heart and then return on your inhale exhale and inhale exhale lower inhale return this time we're going to do a pelvic floor lift hold that position and try to draw that pelvic floor in and up towards your heart and then return and then again exhale lower inhale return exhale and inhale this time pelvic floor lift lower that leg exhale and try to lift that pelvic floor up towards your heart so when we do when those lifting kegels it's better with an exhale than with an inhale nice and so we're going to exhale lower inhale return exhale and now hold and pull that pelvic floor up and in towards your heart and then return so again exhale lower inhale return exhale feel the bracing of your abdominals your abdominals are a team player to your pelvic floor lower and let's do that kegel drawing it up and inside of you very good so we're going to go ahead and move on to our next exercise so we're going to turn outward lower the legs and do a quick beat so from here you're going to inhale turn your legs outward lower both legs keep the turn out exhale quick open close and return find parallel so your toes are touching then from here inhale turn them out toes are not touching and you're lowering down make sure your abs are nice and flat quick open close turn the legs back to parallel and come back up turn out this time we're going to do a pelvic floor lift on the exhale so we're going to exhale try to draw that pelvic floor up and in towards your heart and then inhale roll the legs to parallel and the legs return to your start so we're going to turn out that's using your hip lateral rotators which are also a team player to your pelvic floor actually one of those muscles actually lines your whole inside of your pelvis good so on this time we're going to add that pelvic floor lift but first we turn out inhale we lower exhale quick beat open and close draw that pelvic floor in and up towards your heart and then return and release that pelvic floor turn out press the legs away from you quick open close wrap those legs to parallel come back up turn out lower on your inhale quick open close wrap to parallel and then this time on the exhale we're going to go ahead and try to pull that pelvic floor up inside of you and return very good so now we're going to bend your knees and push that mini max away from you and then we're going to inchworm back a little bit so that the calves of your legs are up on the mini max um, just slightly apart let's go ahead and grab onto those handles and then we're going to do external rotation with a low bridge so the glutes are also a team player for your pelvic floor and we already talked about how lateral rotators are also so from here we're going to inhale to prepare exhale turn your legs outward from your hip sockets as you open your chest by rolling your arms back 
and then we're going to inhale lower. So we're trying to roll those legs outward in order to get a lateral rotators and we're also squeezing our glutes. So we're using lateral rotators and glutes. We're also working our rotator cuff in order to open up that chest and then lower down. Also working the strength of our rotator cuff, which is really important for the health of our shoulders. So once again, multitasking to the maximum. Nice. And so on this time, as we lift and exhale, I want you to try to draw that pelvic floor in and up towards your heart, holding that. Nice. And now fully release as you return to your start position. So let's roll those hips out and roll those shoulders back. Pause. And then lower down. And roll legs out. Pause. Feel the exercise. Squeeze the glutes. Brace the abs. And lower down. This time on the exhale and as we lift, draw that pelvic floor in and up towards your heart. Really drawing it up. Trying to hold. Relax the neck and then come down and again roll outward with the hips roll outward with your arms squeeze your glutes and then lower down and again roll it back pause feel the exercise you got it and then release on this one let's add that pelvic floor lift so you're going to pull that pelvic floor peeking it inside of you trying to bring it towards your heart hold and then release. Okay, so we're gonna lay those handles down next to you, and then we're gonna do high bridge with an opening and closing of the legs. So we're gonna have your feet on top of the mini max there, and from here, let's lift up into that high bridge position. So try to find a length and spine position from your shoulders through the knees, slightly tucking the tail underneath you to find more length in your low back. Feel your shoulder blades pressed into the mat, but relax your neck. So from here, we're going to inhale, open the legs, exhale as you close the legs. Now your gaze is up towards the ceiling and your throat should be relaxed. And you're working from your glutes. Very nice. So keep the extended spine position. And this time as we draw our legs together, I want you to try to draw that pelvic floor up inside of you towards your heart. You got it. Hold that position. And now let's just go ahead and go back to opening and closing. That's it. You should feel your glutes working. Some hamstrings, I bet, also. And even your spinal extensors working here. Nice. So on this time, when we bring our legs together, I want you to draw that pelvic floor up inside of you, finding that lifting Kegel position. Try to hold that position, that's it. And now open and close those legs again, keeping those hips high, that's it. Keep the length of your spine, slightly tucking the tail underneath you to find the length. Nice, and now hold that position. Let's find that lifting Kegel again, drawing the pelvic floor in and up towards the heart. So in this position, it's gravity assisted Kegel, and then it also helps our pelvic floor muscles because the organs aren't pressing down on the pelvic floor, especially if you already have weakness. So we're back to opening and closing. You got it, nice. And now on this one, hold that position, Good. Draw that pelvic floor up inside of you to your heart. Hold that position. Nice. And now let's roll down nice and slow. One vertebra at a time. Releasing. Nice. Let's go ahead and hug your knees in around your rib cage and up towards your heart. So just releasing that low back. Yeah, you could just rock a little bit from side to side. Very, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to hip abduction. So for this one, you're going to need to move the mini max a little bit more into the center of the mat. And then you're gonna go ahead and lie down on your side. You're gonna make sure that you position your elbow right underneath your shoulder and then reach those legs long. So from this position, try to lift the waistline, almost like there's a porcupine underneath your waist. It's gonna work your external oblique and it's also gonna be a better position for your shoulder. We don't wanna be saggy. So pull up, that little porcupine is there. For balance, you can put your hand on the mini max. And then from here, let's go ahead and inhale 
inhale, lift the leg up, exhale, lower and squeeze. Those legs tight together. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. You got it. Inhale and exhale. Now make sure that waistline doesn't drop down on the lift of the leg or as you lower it. So this is a constant workout on the shoulder and then also on your external oblique. Good. And this time as we lower, I want you to squeeze and then also try to draw that pelvic floor up doing that lifting Kegel. Hold that position and now go back to inhaling and exhaling. No worries about that pelvic floor. Inhale and exhale. This time, as we come into the down position with our exhale, let's go ahead and try to lift that pelvic floor up inside of you. That's it, hold it, good. Now as you lift, make sure you're feeling in the side of your hip because we're trying to strengthen this area. Nice. Good. So if you're not feeling it there, bring the leg back, oh, maybe an inch or so, and then you should feel it. Sometimes the body wants to cheat it a little bit by coming forward. Nice. So on this time, when we come down on our exhale, let's find that lifting Kegel and draw that pelvic floor up inside of you. Very, very good. And back to up and down. Just one more here. Up and down. Fantastic. So now we're going to go ahead and do push-ups here. So you can go ahead and adjust yourself so that your lower thighs and your knees are supported on the mini max. If you're really strong, you could go more into your shins. But from here, we're going to exhale, come down, pause, and push out. So let's bend those elbows out to the side and come back up. So in this time, in the down position, let's try to draw that pelvic floor up towards our heart. Oh, that's working those arms hard too. So we're using that inverted position in order to help us because it's gravity-assisted pelvic floor work. And then also our pelvic organs are pressing down on our pelvic floor. So we're gonna come down and I want you to really draw that pelvic floor up towards your heart. You got it, strong arms, and push back. So if that's feeling too hard for you, simply scooch back so that you don't have to deal with as much body weight. And come down, that's your exhale. Inhale, push it away. Exhale, bend those elbows and push it away. On this time, as we exhale and come down, try to lift that pelvic floor up towards your heart. That's it, keep holding it up there. You got it, very good. And push back. And then we're going to bend, exhale, inhale, press, exhale, and inhale. Let's find that pelvic floor lift right here. Go pull it up inside of you. Oh, that's working my arms hard too as I hold this position. So much to do. And good. All right. So let's go ahead here. And we have to do the other side. So you can do it just by switching to the other side of that mini max here. We're going to do that hip abduction here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into that position, making sure my elbow's underneath my shoulder. Remember that porcupine who's underneath your waistline. Try to lift up away from him. Hold on to the mini max for a little bit of stability. And then from here, inhale, lift the leg up and flex the foot as you come down if you choose. Point as you come up. Flex as you come down. Now make sure you feel in the side of your hip that's working posterior gluteus medius. Um, if you don't feel it there, bring the leg back a little bit. Nice. So on this time when we lower that leg and we exhale, we're going to try to do that pelvic floor lift here. So draw the pelvic floor up inside of you. That's it. Nice. And back to lifting. So basically, all of our hip muscles are also pelvic floor synergists or team players with our pelvic floor. So that's why we're working on that gluteus medius here and also that inner thigh squeeze. So on this time, when you come down and in, let's go ahead and pull pelvic floor up inside of you again. That's it. And you'll find that in some of these positions, it's easier to find that lifting Kegel. Just try to do as best as you can. Very good. And up, now find that lifting Kegel here. Squeezing those legs tight together. Try to draw pelvic floor up inside of you. You got it. And nice. 
Good. Good work. Nice. And let's just have one more here. Excellent. And then we're just going to go ahead and have a seat here on the mini max. And then we're just going to sweep our legs back. Because I do find when we do um, prone work, most people are most comfortable if they are coming over the rounded end versus coming from the slope end. You, you can experiment yourself, but I do think this works a little bit better. And so what we're going to do here is we're coming from over the rounded end. We're going to go ahead and lower your head down. And we're going to do bilateral hip extension into knee flexion. So what that means is you want to scoot yourself forward so your legs are lightly resting on the ground. And from that lightly rested position, pull your stomach in and then exhale. Lift your legs up and then let's go ahead. And I think I might have misspoke. This should be your exhale. Stretch the legs long and lower. So it's inhale, lift. Exhale, bend and lengthen and lower. So we're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, try to pull that pelvic floor up inside of you. Hold that position. Try to lengthen and then lower down. And again, just inhale, lift. Now make sure your back doesn't arch. If you have tightness in your quad muscles, it might try to create that arching of your back. Only bend your legs as far as you're able to without arching your spine. And so bend. Make sure your back doesn't arch. Reach those legs long and then lower. So we're again working hamstrings and glutes. And then bend those legs. Let's do our lifting Kegel. So try to draw the pelvic floor up and towards your heart. Once again, we're in another inverted position, which is going to help us lift our pelvic floor because it's gravity assisted and the weight of our pelvic organs are not pushing down on our pelvic floor. So the Minimax is helping us find those different positions. And we're lifting. Exhale, now let's find that lifting Kegel. Try to draw that pelvic floor in towards your heart. Lengthen those legs to straight and then lower, very good. And inhale, lift, relax those neck muscles. Bend those legs on your exhale, stretch those legs long and lower, very good. And then we're going to go ahead and lift and bend, stretch and lower. This time let's add our pelvic floor lift as we exhale and bend our knees. So try to draw pelvic floor up and towards your heart. That's it. And lengthen those legs to straight and lower. Very good. All right, so then let's go ahead and just hug the mini max and just round your spine. So I'm kind of pushing in a little bit with my arms and I'm rounding my spine here just to release that back a little bit. Nice work. All right, so then we're going to go into hug a moon. So we're going to come up into a high kneeling position. We're going to grab onto our handles here. And then we're going to put our heels together, toes apart. That creates an isometrical, isometric hip lateral rotated position. So it's going to be working those team players here as we work our arms. So from here, you're going to do hug a moon. And you're going to reach those arms up on your inhale. Exhale, squeeze, lift your pelvic floor up inside of you as you slowly lower your arms down. And then again, inhale, lift your arms up, squeeze those heels tight together, feel your glutes activate in your lateral rotators, and lower. And inhale as you lift your arms up. Exhale, squeeze those heels tight together, really kissing them tight together. Feel that activity in your glutes. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Now draw that pelvic floor up inside of you as you slowly lower those arms down, but keep that pelvic floor lifting inside and now release. Inhale, and then exhale, squeeze, and slowly lower those arms down. Very, very good. Once again, Pilates is great for multitasking. We're getting arm work, we're getting glute work. 
lateral rotators work and on this one we'll add our pelvic floor so we're going to get those arms up on your inhale exhale squeeze lift the pelvic floor up inside of you slowly lowering those arms down you got it and again inhale lift squeeze those heels tight together feel those glutes get active lateral rotators active as you lower down nice and slow and again lifting up and lowering down very good let's add our pelvic floor on this one so you're going to come up with your inhale exhale squeeze lift that pelvic floor up inside of you so now we're having to work our pelvic floor up against gravity so it'll feel different again and then just two more just regular ones lift up squeeze those heels and lower down nice and slow and last one very good okay so we're going to go ahead and come forward here and then we're going to make sure our toes are touching in the back so just adjust your knee back if you need to and bring that leg forward and then so from here we're just going to come forward find a nice little hip flexor stretch here on the right and then from here let's just work on triceps so i'm pushing that arm to straight and slightly away from my body good and press so on this time when we exhale and press the arm to straight lift the pelvic floor up inside of you try to hold and then release and then go ahead and push up and release so press the arm up and slightly out so it's a slight diagonal and then this time you're going to go ahead and lift pelvic floor up inside of you try to hold and then release back to regular triceps exhale press up so here we're exhaling with our exertion with the arm nice and good let's go ahead and push it up exhaling try to draw pelvic floor up inside of you good and back to regulars exhale and nice all right let's go ahead and do the other side here so we're going to just swap those legs out and keeping the knee kind of in the center make sure your toes are touching that's going to help you with your balance bring that leg forward in order to get better stretch on your hip flexor you're leaning forward here and then from here exhale press up inhale bend exhale press inhale bend exhale press up lift pelvic floor up towards your heart try to keep it there and now lower and relax your pelvic floor go back to just tricep presses here and tricep press and this time lift pelvic floor as you get that arm up with your exhale drawing up towards your heart you got it and then release back to regular tricep press up slightly out to the side and that's it and then this time let's go ahead and lift pelvic floor that's with our exhale try to draw up towards your heart you got it hard to coordinate everything gotta have a challenge good back to regular tricep presses good nice all right this time pelvic floor it's that kegel lift up inside of you try to keep your shoulder relaxed and just two regular ones push and push all right so i just figured we would finish with a couple of stretches here so we can just go ahead and bring that leg forward let's place our hands right underneath our semi-bent knees and then just try to draw yourself down so maybe finding stretch in the hamstrings maybe stretch in your back yeah go ahead and try to soften yourself down inhale and exhale on your exhale softening inhale expanding ribs one more breath very good and then we're going to finish with another stretch from the yoga world reclining buddha so go ahead and bring your bottom down some and then bring the soles of your feet towards one another support your head and backward bend make sure you support your head here also inhale and exhale release if this position were not feeling good for you you could inchworm yourself down so you're not in as much extension and just use your breath now to increase stretch so inhale 
Exhale, let all the worries and the tension of the day and all the exercises leave your body as you find more openness. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Well, that's it for our Toned in 10 workout with the Hooked on Pilates Mini Max. So you can see that pelvic floor exercises can actually be quite difficult. And working your pelvic floor is important at any age. Um, actually, uh, elite athletes or people who do a lot of jumping actually have shown a higher occurrence of stress urinary incontinence so people at a young age can have issues um, and then of course going through pregnancy puts a huge amount of strain on the pelvic floor and during pregnancy and delivery the uterus elongates and descends so it's really important in order to use some of these exercise ideas after um, pregnancy in order to help with regaining um, the position for all of your pelvic floor um, and the organs that are associated with that area. So please spread the word about Hooked on Pilates. Thanks a lot and have a great day.